Social awkwardness. This is something a lot of young men struggle with. The digital world has changed the way we interact and it causes more people to be socially awkward than ever. Think back a few years when you message your crush if she wants to go out and then you dropped your phone onto your bed, you were really excited, really nervous. Well, you wouldn't do that in real life, or at least I hope you wouldn't. What social media has done it is created this bubble, this shield that you hide behind. Perfect photos, perfect lighting, etc. You don't get that in real life, so you get anxious about how you look, how others perceive you, causing social awkwardness. This is one of the things, however, that the fix is not going to satisfy you. It's literally getting out there. You can start with even asking someone working at the grocery store where an item, on which shelf is it? You go out with your friends and interacting with other groups because together always makes it easier. But to benefit, you always have to be still engaging. But let's reverse real quick, back to the root cause. It's often the fear of rejection and the fear of getting laughed at. Those are the main causes for you to not to speak to that girl or to ask her out, etc. And this needs a massive mental shift, like a drastic one. Because you need to realize, and I know you've heard this before, but it's only a no. Like, heck, just start giving your number out to girls you don't even like. Then you really have nothing to lose. Get, get practicing. But I can't tell you it's just a no. You have to tell yourself. Build up your self-confidence through self-improvement where your mindset is, I'm the A-side, they're missing out on me. You might think this sounds cocky or something, but shut up. If you're going to the gym six times a week, taking care of yourself, your mind, being disciplined, living a life with meaning, you are much better than a lot, if not most men. You, you, you can call it cockiness as an excuse to not self-improve and not build up your confidence through being more valuable. That's two methods. There is also a third one, to use it as fuel. Rejection, getting laughed at, gives you so much energy that you can harness and turn into positively productive energy. Think of every no, it has so much fuel, it adds so much fuel to the fire and it's gonna get to the point where you're gonna want to start hearing no's. That's how powerful directing energy can be.